What is up, Elevate family? What's up, everybody? I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so excited that you decided to join us this morning for another Elevate Teen Ministry service. My name is Minister Matt. I think you know me by now, but I'm glad you're here. I'm so happy that uh, you're sitting right there. And you know what? I, I, I know that this message and what God gave me to give to you is really going to bless you and really going to uh, 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 empower you, especially in this new season that we're walking in. Yo, summer is winding down. Summer is almost over. Some of y'all are already in school. Some of y'all are getting ready to go back to school. Some of you guys are going into a new level of school. Maybe your first day of high school is coming up. Your first day of college is coming up. No matter what phase or stage that you're in, I know that this word is for you today. And it's real simple, nothing crazy, nothing deep. It's just these words. God keeps me safe. Can you just declare that over yourself right there? Say, God keeps me safe. That's it. That is my prayer today, that you understand that God keeps you safe safe. There are a lot of things in life that are designed to keep us safe. There's a lot of things that have been designed by the government, by businesses, by associations, by different people uh, uh, that have been designed for our safety, designed to keep us safe no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, they keep us safe. What are some of those things? One of those things is a seatbelt. You know a seatbelt. You 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 hop in the car on your way to Walmart, on your way to Dunkin' Donuts, on your way to work, on your way to school, whatever you might be doing, doing with your life right about now, you get in that car, you know you got to wear your seatbelt. God forbid there's an accident. God forbid there's something going on. Despite the fact that it's against the law not to have your seatbelt on, it is it is detrimental. It's dangerous to your safety not to have your seatbelt on. So those things are designed to keep us safe. Even more present, even more applicable to where we are right now, you got to wear a mask. <laughs> you got to wear a mask. There was a moment, I know you might be a little frustrated. I am too sometimes. There was a moment where, hey, we had the liberty not to wear the mask and you know things were getting better, but then all of a sudden Delta comes out and all this other stuff starts happening and we got to put our mask back on. But you know what? It's okay because the mask keeps you safe. The mask keeps you covered, whether you're at school, at work, at church, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, the mask will keep you safe. It covers your mouth, covers your nose, keeps those germs from getting in. If you're talking to somebody face-to-face and they might have Rona, I mean COVID, they 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 might be you know Delta certified or whatever the case may be, and they might not be vaccinated, and they and 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 they're talking right right in front of you, and you don't have a mask on. Guess what? Those particles are going to go right into your system and get you sick, just like they are. So the mask keeps you safe; it keeps you covered. But when the mask fails, and when the seatbelt fails. And the things in your life that were designed to keep you safe sometimes don't work. There is one thing and one being that will always keep you safe and that will always have your back and will always have you covered. And that is God. God keeps me safe. Even if there's some strand that comes out, God forbid, that goes through the mask and goes into your system anyway, God still keeps us safe. See, the cool thing about us as believers and the cool thing about us as people who believe in Jesus Christ and are followers of Jesus and we are church members and we are uh, 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 diligently going after God in prayer and reading the word and all that stuff, we have an advantage because we have a protection that people People can't see. We have a protection that people can't buy. We have a protection called God, called Jesus, and they protect us and they cover us. There's a scripture in the Bible that says this in Psalm 91 verses one and two. It says this, you can go to God most high to hide. You can go to God all powerful for protection. I say to the Lord, you are my place of safety my fortress, my God, 
I trust in you. You know what this means to me? This means that no matter where I go, I don't have to be in church for God to protect me. I don't have to be in the church building. That is not the only place that God will keep you safe. God wants to keep you safe on your job, in your school, in your house, in the car, wherever you at, whatever you're doing at Six Flags, at the beach, on the boardwalk, God wants to keep you safe. He is not just, you know, bound to church or bound to your house. He comes with you wherever you go. You have a walking you, y'all, y'all remember those force fields, those things you see in the cartoons, and when the force field is up, nothing can come past it. Yeah, that's what you got. That's what God is like. God is protecting you around the clock, 24-7, no matter what. God keeps you safe. And my prayer for you as you walk through those school doors and as you walk through those college campus doors and you get settled in your dorms and you do all that other stuff that you might be preparing to do, that you remember always that God will keep you safe safe. The bullet will not touch you. Corona will not infect you. I pray over you even in this moment that as you continue to stay in God's presence, how do I do that? I pray. I I read his word. I listen to worship music. I worship God outside of Sunday morning. And that's how I stay in the presence of God. And in his presence, there is protection. Type that in the comments, if you please. In his presence, there is protection. And I believe that the protection of the Lord is upon you and that all you have to do is trust in him and he will always keep you safe. You got it? I want to show you something really cool that I found as I was getting ready to do this. And um, it's, it's it's a really short clip, but I think you're really going to get the picture of what God is trying to tell us today, all right? So sit back, watch this. Let's do it together. All right, this is another quick lesson on the protection of the Holy Ghost, the protection of God. Here I have two people. They look similar, but one is the Holy Ghost and one does not. So what happens when you go into the world, which is represented by our big container of water here? We're vulnerable to that. What happens when you go into the world? Well, here we go. This guy does not have the Holy Ghost. and Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It has had a major effect on him to the point where he is just destroyed. Not the same guy at all. That's pretty disgusting. But... His friend does have the Holy Ghost, and he's living for God, and he's just raring to go, and that's cool. That's exciting. So this is him. When you get the Holy Ghost, you get something else. You get something neat. It's called the protection of God, the protection of the Holy Ghost, and that's what is represented by this. So God's going to cover you. Now, the Bible says, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So... You're protected by God. You enter the same world that that other guy did, but this time you get the protection of God. And you can see this here. He's completely submerged in the world, but he has the protection of God on him. So when he comes back out, watch what happens. After a day of school, a day of work, when you come out, there's absolutely nothing on you whatsoever. You're in the world, but you're not of the world. You're protected by God, and that's what this is. This is a really neat lesson, very simple. Very. I don't know about y'all, but that almost blew my mind. I could have sworn that when he put the cup into the water, that thing, the water was just going to come up and get that little napkin wet, but it didn't. And that's what the protection of God is. You're going to be submerged into this crazy world. You see what's going on with 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 all the way from Afghanistan to what's happening right here in our backyard to COVID-19, all the stuff that's happening, y'all. It's real easy to get drowned and to get overwhelmed with all that's happening in this world. And we don't feel safe. We don't feel secure. But there is one place that you can always feel secure. And there's always one, there's this one place that you will always be safe. And that is in God, in his presence, under his protection. And all you have to do 
is trust him. All you have to do is lean on him. All you have to do is find yourself when you're afraid, when you feel unsafe, when you feel insecure, unsecure, you go into prayer and say, Lord, I thank you that you are my fortress. You are my God. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to hide in you because there's no safer place in the whole wide world than in the presence of God. You got it? I hope you got something that, that, that I hope you got something today, y'all. Excuse me, my tongue got tied. I hope you got something today. And I really pray that you always remember that God is your safe place, God is your safety, and that He'll never let you down and He'll never let you go. You got it. I hope you have a great day. Happy Super Sunday. I'll see you next time right here on the LG Elevate page. Do me a favor. Share this video. Share with everybody you know. Make sure it goes on your page. Make sure you text the link to somebody and let them know that we are here and that there's a word just for them that will that will remind them that they are safe in Christ no matter where they go. You got it. Y'all have a great day. Love you so much. And there's nothing you can do but love me back. All right, see you later.